Well, hello, everyone. Please look at this baby ferret. <gasps> oh, my God, I love him. How do we explain to 40-plus-year-olds online that you can't just end every sentence with dot, dot, dot without conveying a really ominous vibe? I love that this post has informed me that thousands of other people my age are terrified by totally innocuous messages from parents, professors, and bosses. I meant to make this meme ages ago when Pride Month was still on, but yeah, gay is Irish for goose. It's finally Pride Month. Time to reblog this again. Be gay, do crimes. <laughs> you ever met someone from your childhood you don't remember? Hey, dude, long time no see. You probably don't remember me, but you gave me a Transformers for my birthday. Dude, I have so many questions, but the biggest was which Transformer did I gift you? And why is that the most formative memory you have of me? Luigi fans who hate Mario are insane because if you ever told Luigi you hate Mario, he would start crying and then put his duke ups while still crying. Luigi really loves his brother, guys. You don't understand. Mark my words. When the FNAF movie comes out, Matthew Lillard's Afton will steal every scene he's in and join the holy trinity of video game movie villains alongside Jack Black's Bowser and Jim Carrey's Robotnik. That, or alternatively, um, they're just gonna put shaggy lines where William Afton will be. Just saying. Happy Pride Month to Chad and Ryan, the little gay cowboy and Roman in the Night of the Museum trilogy, and every man who played volleyball in Top Gun 1986. Yeah, good for them. Just, just, just Pokemon living in the moment. Nothing peculiar about them at all. Ah, Heine Desert. Golurk, count how many grains of sand there are. Okay, one. Two, three, four. Well, now I just need Golurk saying, Holy shit. Today I learned NASA's plan to dispose of corpses in space is to freeze them in the airlock and then violently shake the body with a robotic arm until it turns into space dust. Bad astronauts get put in the corpse wiggler. Hey, uh, what the actual fuck? This? Why so weird dragon? Shut up, I love her. <gasps> Andy, it's the bubble dragon from Monster Hunter. A duck with the beak of a platypus? <gasps> oh no. Bisexuals will be like, this is my partner, and introduce you to either one of the most beautiful creatures you have ever laid your eyes on, or a wretched and tortured bog dweller, no in between. Hey, don't do my bisexual friends dirty like that. Notice. Your health isn't increasing or decreasing, but instead going in a direction many considered imaginary. Thanks, I hate it. Calling Chad GBT AI feels exactly the same to me as calling those motorized skateboards hoverboards. Yeah, that, that sounds, sounds, sounds right. Hey, girl, um, we were playing D&D with your boyfriend and, um... Yeah, she has new pronouns now. Yeah, no, she she's doing great. Yeah, yeah, no, she made a girl character as a joke, and, well, <laughs> the rest is history, or herstory. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I guess she's your girlfriend now. Yeah. Finally, a good ending. Loudly going, you're good, you're good, to myself to ward off every memory of every embarrassing thing I've ever done. Mentally shouting, leave it! Like my brain is a dog trying to chew on a pine cone. That's the pine cone of embarrassment. Get away from that. Just saw someone say online that they've never seen mountains IRL and lost my mind. Is this an experience you guys have had? Are there some people who haven't seen mountains? I've never seen mountains, but I live on an island and I lose my mind when people tell me they've never seen the ocean. The ocean. Some people have never seen the ocean before. What really gets me is that some people have never seen either. Kansas is not meant for permanent habitation. Say it with me, boys and girls and nuns. Kansas is not meant for permanent habitation. Yay! Wraps myself in blankets while watching funny videos. Ah, oh, finally I can relax. Slight bit of cold seeps in. Ah!